Nocturne number two in E minor is actually one of my personal favorites in the first book. I love this particular nocturne because it has a lot of left hand melody. Of course, Chopin loved to do a lot of left hand work in his nocturnes. And in this particular piece, I would like to point out that the chords in the left hand, which have the melody on top, uh, the melody is always played with a very strong finger. So if I were to play just the very first phrase, you'll hear So each time, all of those melody notes are played with either thumb or second finger, which are very strong fingers. And this makes it easier, I think, to get that really good balance. I marked this particular nocturne, moderato e amor vole. Amor vole is one of my favorite terms to use when I want to have a piece that should be played really lovingly and caressingly. So I literally when I perform this, I almost feel like I'm hugging the keys and embracing the sound. I'm also trying to get a very, very smooth accompaniment and keeping my fingers really close to the keys in the right hand eighth notes. Let me just show you in the very beginning both parts and you can listen to the balance. So you hear that really nice balance between both parts. It would really destroy the left hand melody line uh, if the right hand were played too loudly. Down in measure 17, the mood changes quite dramatically from minor in the opening to a very sunny, brighter mood in G major, because that's the relative major. And we get into, let me start in measure 15. Because that's very dramatic and different from darker, cloudier sound in that opening. And I want to make sure the tempo flows and moves uh, forward all the time. In measure 31, you're going to hear a little, what I would call an inharmonic modulation from this chord, which is actually E flat minor, going to a B7, which takes us back into that dominant of E minor, where it returns to the DC alcoda, followed by that coda on the second page. At the end of this coda, I particularly love the chords in the right hand. They're very colorful, they're rather surprising, and it gives a real air, I think, of sophistication to this nocturne. Let me just play the last line, starting in measure 39. You might notice, too, that in measure 40, where I marked espressivo, I took a little bit of time over those first two eighth notes just to make it sound a bit more heartfelt and warmer in character. <laughs> 